Today we're at Lowe's to pick up the Trimmer Plus Hitch Trimmer Attachment. I've been excited to try this one out ever since I got my Husqvarna 128 last year. In this video I'll go over how much I paid and why I decided to buy this attachment, a quick unboxing to show everything it comes with, attaching it to the Husqvarna 128 LD motor, first use and initial thoughts. I'll leave timestamps in the description in case you want to jump straight to the action. First, we'll start with the price. These are $129. Last year when I got my Husqvarna 128, they were $99, so they went up $30 in the past year. After taxes, that was about $140.93. If you're in the market for a new trimmer, you'll notice that the corded trimmers are always the better deal. That's what I've been using. They come with the limitation of the cord, however, which is a bit frustrating. Next, there are gas trimmers, which offer the portability. However, they're a lot more expensive than you would think. Too much in my opinion. Now the battery powered ones are middle of the pack between the two. Good price comes with a battery and a charger and very lightweight. That would have been my option if I was just looking for a trimmer. However, I need the reach that the Trimmer Attachment Plus offers to trim my holly bushes. So that's why I went with that one. Next we'll get into the unboxing. Let's see what all this comes with. According to the instructions, this should be fairly simple. We're just going to unscrew and remove our old attachment, plug in the new attachment, screw it back on, and we're done. Let's see if it's that simple. So honestly, I was curious what this would look like on the inside. It appears that it's like a drop shaft, so interesting. So of course this has been very easy, but you want to make sure that you line this part up. Uh, you do have two options there, so you can orient your trimmers in two different directions. Once you get it in there, just tighten it up and you're ready to go. Alright, let's put this thing to use. While we watch the time lapse of the first use, I'll go ahead and give you the pros and cons. The first pro is not having to get the extension cord out and also not having to worry about cutting into it. That's actually a game changer and I would recommend this just on that. The next pro is the extra reach you get from using it on your weed eater base uh, for the taller bushes, especially like this first one, is a must have. Uh, when I was using the smaller unit, I would have to lean into it and these holly bushes are not a bush you want to be leaning into. And the next pro is that it does come with a strap. On the first day I didn't use it and I could really tell that the weight was a bit bothersome. Second day I used the strap and it really helped out. I've also started using this while weed eating and I can tell a big difference. Now for the cons, and there's actually just one. While the reach is a benefit, the overall weight of using this setup is a bit much. I suggest using it for the hard to reach places then moving on to something smaller for the detail work. Because of that, the battery powered option may still be in play for me and I may get that on down the road. So in summary, it's a great buy if you need the reach, but if you're just looking for something portable, save the money and buy the battery powered unit. I may get one of those soon, so if you want to see that video, make sure you subscribe, and I should be doing that maybe the fall or the spring. And if you like this video, please give it a like. It'll help on the algorithm, and I'll see you on the next one. we got some before and afters coming up, so don't leave quite yet.